All right, today I'm going to give you guys a detailed look at this uh, security battle droid. It's from uh, SciShow and uh, comes with two in a pack. And uh, these are the security battle droids, one six scale, and the side of the box, and the back of the box. And uh, this is a requested review by a um, one of my followers from Instagram. So. And when you first take these out of the box, uh, you would have both of them in this uh, fold-up position, uh, as you can see. Uh, and they're both uh, sideways, so you can fit both of them inside this box. And uh, as you can see, they fit together. You could crunch down and uh, fold up uh, really well, actually. And they each come with a blaster. Uh, it's the exact same one. Zoom in a little so you guys can see it. And there it is. And once you um, unfold him, this is what he's going to look like. All standing up nice and straight. And uh, I've noticed that uh, the two I got, uh, one is uh, one has a uh, better battle damage than the other one. It's basically one clean and one battle damage. And uh, here's the battle damage one. You can see her scuff marks all over him. While the clean one is, well, somewhat of a clean. Uh, you see they painted over with a brush, but uh, uh, wasn't uh, brush on that nicely. So I rather like the battle damage one a bit more because uh, things are sprayed on instead of brushed on. Like here, you can see on his head. It's actually pretty poorly done. So let's take a closer look at this guy. And as far as articulation, he is quite good as well too. Uh, I'll go over it really quick. And uh, here's a side view of him. While standing up. And the back view. As far as articulation, uh, head it's on a swivel type joint, and then uh, uh, although uh, it also uh, pivots up and down, and then here on the neck, same thing, it uh, pivots uh, forward and back, and uh, it is extendable because uh, uh, when he's in the fold up position, you see his neck is totally inside the body, and then the uh, shoulders are ball hinged, and then the uh, um, you can see the shoulder piece uh, it's also on a hinge and then there's a rotation around the uh, bicep area and then the hinge elbows and then there's a swivel uh, forearm and then there's a hinge around the wrist there and then he also has uh, he comes with uh, articulated fingers well it's not like individual individually articulated fingers but uh, he, he only has uh, three fingers and uh, the thumb is on separate while the index and the pinky they're stuck together and then uh, the body let me see yeah, as far as the body itself uh, there is a, a minor rotation you could give him uh, and there's a joint right here and it's, it works like a piston where a piece is stuck inside so you can rotate a little bit of him uh, and then as for the hips uh, they are ball jointed and then we have uh, hinge knees hinge ankles and uh, actually they're, they're actually ball jointed um, ankles but uh, it is hindered by the two pieces uh, circular pieces uh, around the, um, the ankle area so you could uh, rotate his uh, feet a little bit left and right but that's about it so as far as uh, posability you can give him uh, quite a lot of uh, different poses um, the only main restriction is around the neck so if you want him to rotate his uh, head and neck over to look at the side uh, he's not able to do that but otherwise uh, as far as the rest of the body uh, all the joints are really good, really stiff, and uh, uh, posability is really good. And when he's in the fold up position, he stands about uh, 6 inches in height. And when he's fully erect, he is about a little over 12, I say 12.25 inches in height. And here he is standing next to Isaac Clark 
from Death Space 3. Just so you guys can get a sense of how tall he is. So yeah, there's a little video of the battle droids. And uh, I do recommend this. Uh, I believe they're about... Um, how much sure are they? Uh, I think they're between 130 to 140. I'm not quite sure. Or around 150. Uh, for two, I think it's a, a pretty good buy. Because um, you do get two droids. Um, uh, but these are mainly uh, to um, to accentuate uh, other characters uh, like the, um, like uh, Grievous or uh, or any other. Well, I think it's mainly Grievous because, uh, or you could uh, 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 you could have them battling uh, Obi Wan Kenobi and stuff like that. So these are kind of cool. Um, two in the pack. That's nice. Uh, price is all right, not bad, but the paint job on this one is not the greatest, I have to say. Uh, and you could clearly see the brush stroke on them. It's not great. I rather they did it this way, where they spray paint uh, a lot of the area instead. So yeah, there you go. Uh, Battle droids from uh, SciShow. Thanks for watching.